storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Snoop Dogg, real quick, Calvin Brodus. Calvin Brodus is allegedly headed to Red Table Talk, but we know Red Table Talk ain't really good for nothing but just, um, I guess, really telling Jada's business and letting her cry all day and all night. Came out and you said what you said, you know, in regards to Gail. Yes. My heart dropped. I felt like not only were you talking to Gail, but you were talking to me. Yeah. I was like, oh no, Snoop has now taken his power flow away from me, away from Willow, mm. away from my mother. Mm -mm. Right? I was like, oh, if this is what's happening, I was like, not Snoop. Right. Right? And so that's one of the reasons why I felt like I really wanted to have the conversation with you in the, in the spirit of healing. But nonetheless, I'm going to be watching. And the purpose of Snoop Dogg going on the show is so we can apologize and further apologize to black women and to Gil King for him calling her a doghead ass bitch. And he didn't have to call her a doghead ass bitch. But I'm just wondering why he had to apologize for that when he literally been calling black women bitches and hoes. In his music for the last 30 years. But that was cool. You know, when he uh, started making porn and was putting black women like that out there on camera. That was cool. But he called Gail a doghead ass bitch. And now y'all want to get mad. Y'all like 30 years too late. He been calling y'all bitches and hoes. I'm just saying. But more importantly than a Gail King. Who give a damn about a Gail King? Snoop? I ain't calling you Snoop Lion either. I'm calling you Snoop Dog Because that Snoop Lion shit was dumb. Just like that gospel phase that your ass lied through. So, where your damn script at? So, first thing I want you to do is when you get your ass to the red table talk, I don't want you to send an apology to Gail. I want you to apologize to your wife, who you've been cheating on since you met her. Shantae, the ever-suffering Shantae, the one that has held you down like no other. So, I want you to get on camera. I want you to apologize for 30 years of infidelity. I want you to apologize for 30 years of insecurity, of, of, of putting her life at risk. You know, you and T.I. claim y'all for the community, but y'all steady killing it. I want you to apologize for even sticking your peen in dirty white puss like Selena Powell. You know, you, you screw Selena Powell, you hear the remnants of all your homies. Why do they all like Selena Powell so much? I don't know. But anyway, I want you to send that apology to black women. But uh, not black women, I'm sorry, to your wife. Then next, what I want you to do is go and get baptized again because it's already been exposed that that whole God, Jesus phase you had with Charlie Wilson was fake. You were screwing Selena Powell right before you sung gospel music. You were snorting coke before you went on stage. And more importantly... Nigga, we never believed you were sober. You've been smoking weed for 35, 40 years. You know, you 85 years old. You're never going to be sober. If Snoop was to stop smoking weed today, I don't think that would end well for him the next day. That's all I'm going to say. So when you get your ass on that platform, Snoop, you make sure you apologize to your wife and your kids. Not no damn Gail King. You give a fuck about a Gail King. Gail King ain't nobody to you. And then you're going to lie and say your mama told you you need to fix that. Your mama told you you need to fix that, but your mama didn't tell you that you needed to fix the shit with, with her daughter-in-law that you've been cheating on since the beginning of time? Snoop, I ain't trying to hear your shit. If you're going to lie, I'm going to need you to at least tell a believable one. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.